So Lowry did win game number one. So it looks Ooh, like he's uh, catching the bad end of it right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of elemental tokens in play for Chris. And now here's a treasure cruise. Pyroblast is going to take care of that. But that's two more elemental tokens from Young Pyromancer. So it looks like Chris is running away with this thing. So there is one copy of Electricery in Anthony's sideboard. That looks like, I mean, if there's going to be any card that catches him up here, that's going to be the card. It would be a good time to draw it. That's for sure. Eighth nine, as far as I told you, concerned. Chris going to turn his creature sideways. Keep in mind, that is a 2-3 Monastery Swiss Beer there for Lowry, as he did play a copy of Pyroblast. So some damage will come across here. And for Anthony Lowry, Electricery is what you're looking for, assuming it's in his deck after sideboard. He will untap and draw. It is not like tricking, and we're going to play a third game here between Chris and Anthony. Chris Pahula able to tie things up here against Lowry in the blue-red Delver Mirror. So looking at the sideboard here, see what kind of approaches players have. Yeah, Anthony on his side, he's got the Black Splash, which is really starting to get pretty popular here. Four copies of Cabal Therapy. He also has three Pyroblasts, two Surgical Extraction, a Vendillion Click, a Hydro Blast, and like Trickery, Sulfuric Vortex, Smash the Smithereens, and a Graph Digger's Cage. Really like Pyroblasts, really like Hydro Blasts, really like the Electricery. Uh, skeptical of Vendillion Click, but it might come in. Yeah, it's a kind of card that you can maybe take someone by surprise with. Three mana is a lot in this matchup, yep. and uh, it does die to everything. So I'm not a fan, but Red Blast and Blue Blast, if I was trying to win the Mirror Match, that's all my sideboard would be. Fair. Just Pyroblast and Hydro Blast. In my opinion, the Mirror Match is just, there's there's 16 cards that matter. There's the 12 creatures and the four Treasure Cruises. If you can win the fight over that, you're good to go. So all I want is stuff that is good at pushing through my copies of that or protecting them or stopping my opponent from doing that. And Pyroblast and Hydroblast is just the best of the bunch. Fair enough. Let's take a look at what Chris has on his side. Four Cabal Therapies, two Pyroblast, two Graph Tinker's Cage, a Hydroblast, a Surgical Extraction, two Sulfuric Vortex, two Smash Smith's Marines, one Electricery. Much the same thing, like the Hydroblast, the two Pyroblasts, and the Electricery. Yeah, about the options for both players are about the same. And you're not going to see some big shakeups, I think, at this point, as far as how to beat the mirror. I think a lot of players have tested a lot of options and have found kind of the same thing that you said, where the blast effects are good, but people are kind of hedging with other effects as well. Yeah, so for the mirror match, you know, some people bring in spell pierces and fluster storms, and I'm just not a fan of those kind of cards because sure. I want to be able to answer the creatures as well. So the blasts are just sweet all around. Just saw Brad Nelson walk a match slip up, so it looks like he's still alive in this thing. He was X and two coming in this round, so looks like Brad has picked up a W with Sneak and Show to move on to five and two. Jim Davis also walking a match slip up, so he's bounced back from his loss to move on to six and one. And for this match, two of the real, I mean, it gets overused as an expression, but two of the real good guys in the community. Absolutely. Forces of positive change. Like that's all you can really ask for. Yeah. Chris, of course, has been around for a very long time. Predates me. Not, not a lot of players out there that do that, but Chris definitely predates me. Anthony, uh, definitely newer to the Magic scene, but two good dudes. Only one gets to walk away with the W here, though. Both sitting here at four and two. Lowry, slowly but surely, making his way up the leaderboard right now, number 23. Yeah, he plays, uh, he's had a lot of success in IQs. Yeah, I mean, a big finish in the Open Series or Invitational has eluded him, but his work on the IQ circuit has been very, very good. So Spear to start things off. He gets in for one point of damage. See if Chris mimics him. He'll go with the Delver instead. So he'll go back Lowry's way. He will draw a card. Copy of Flooded Strand. He'll play one of them. Now he'll fork Bolt. That, of course, will trigger the prowess on Monastery Swift Spear. And he may cast a Ponder as well. I like casting Ponder here because the only card you're really playing around is Daze. And if Chris dazes you here, it's not even necessarily bad for you for him to be behind on the land drop. There is a Ponder. We'll see if this does resolve. And it will. So Lowry will take a look at a couple of cards, a Ponder, a Delver, and a copy of Hydroblast. All two seem pretty good here. Pretty solid. I'd be hard pressed to shuffle this one away. And with Force of Will, he has 
Sun protection already in Hydroblast is an efficient answer to a large spectrum of Chris's deck. You know, knowing those three cards will be your next handful of draw steps versus just a random draw, hard yeah. to pass those up. Chris is going to sacrifice his Scalding Tarn. Down to 14 already. It's only his second turn of the game. Swift Spear does hit pretty hard. You got two fetches, a Swift Spear and uh, for three and a fourth bolt that got split. And already at 14. There's a Lightning Bolt. An attempt to get old Swifty off the table will work. And now a Ponder. So three cards coming here for Pakula. We'll see if he likes what he sees with Lightning Bolt, Swift Spear, and a Ponder on his side of the table. These are always kind of tough. I, I don't think Chris is really going to shuffle here. But you never know when the game is going to shift to being about Treasure Cruise all of a sudden. And in that case, having Lightning Bolts in your hand is, is pretty bad. Here's a Ponder. Let's take a look at the top three here for Lowry. Two lands and a Delver of Secrets. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't keep that one. Well, again, he, uh, I, he has a fetch line with the option to shuffle here. And he will shuffle. So took the Delver, played the Flooded Strand, goes a little bit lower. Going to dig a land out of his deck. And he will go with the Volcanic Island. I wonder how Chris feels about these kids and their revised volcanic islands. <laughs> you know? Sometimes I wonder. I imagine indifference. Not everyone can have the bling bling. It's true. One of the benefits of being a little bit older, being a professional for a number of years. That's right. You can go get the things you always wanted from your childhood but couldn't afford. Well, I guess when Chris was first playing Magic, these volcanics that he's playing with were like 20 bucks. So, yeah. And 20 bucks back then was like 100 bucks. Yeah, cards were so. not worth $20. And these cards were worth $20. <laughs> There's young Pyromancer. That's in there. Checking with Delver, flipping with Delver, lightning bolt the top card. Pakula will stop Lowry in his upkeep now that he has that information and cast a lightning bolt. That's a copy of Hydroblast. Pakula. Anthony Dave definitely taking a very aggressive tilt to this matchup. Could have just Pyro or Hydroblasted the young Pyromancer straight away. Maybe it respects the possibility of days, but uh, instead of using it to keep his insectile aberration alive, using the bolt to take care of the young Pyromancer. It's getting aggressive. See Pakula's hand right now. He does have a copy of Pyroblast. Looks like he's going to lead out with that. And it's decided to ponder instead. Take a look at a couple of cards. Probe among them. Looks like two probes and a copy of Underground Sea. He doesn't like that, so it's time to shuffle. Yeah, he definitely does not want the Underground Sea at this point. And all those Cataxium probes do are cantrips that cost mana or life. Neither of which Chris has that much to spare. Mystery card drawn from the Ponder. And now there is Pyroblast. So bye bye Delver. In comes the Elemental Token. And now here's a Ponder yet again. So Pakula looking at a Brainstorm of Delver of Secrets and a Scalding Tar. We'll see if he, if he has any interest in these cards. Pretty tough, I think, to pass up a Brainstorm here. It, it, this is just kind of tough because Chris has been very conservative about days and potentially other removal spells here, which is fine given the circumstances, but it has led him to a spot where now he has a handful of young Pyromancers and not many spells to pair them with. Whereas opposed to last year where he could have just said, okay, I'll play young Pyromancer and try to Pyroblast your creature. Days is a huge risk there, as are a number of other cards, but... Uh, now Anthony is resolving Treasure Cruise, and Chris's hand is not that great. And he's the first one to cruise here, too, which is pretty important. Now here's a Swiss Spear, and there's a Brainstorm. So that'll trigger the Swiss Spear's prowess. Three cards coming here for Lowry, three pretty good ones. Two will have to go back.
What's put back, always tough with Brainstorm. It's so weird because all the all the cards here feel very much the same. Yeah. And then it's an issue of mana efficiency. Force of Will is the one card that stands out. Do you want that effect or not? Looks like Aurora wants it in some capacity. Into the red zone. Pass the turn back. Take a draw. It's time for Young Pyromancer. Now we're going to sacrifice his tar. There's a Volcanic. And Lowry is ready to treasure cruise again. Yep, 4-1 if he draws it. And he's going to force with Young Pyromancer. I like to play there by Lowry, sacrificing the fetch line first in case a day shows up. <laughs> yeah, no reason to try to get too fancy. It's small, and now there's a Pyroblast. Now, that's a play I definitely do not like from Lowry. Got way too fast there. First of all, he played into days. Secondly, he could have untapped and Pyroblasted, gotten an extra prowess trigger. Sure. Here's your Pyromancer now. I mean, if Chris Days is him there, it's and, and Anthony's bad. been so conservative about playing around Days the, to this point. Here's a Brainstorm. Now the road's clogged up, too, for the Swift Spear. Going to sacrifice the Tarn. Get out the fourth copy of a Volcanic Island. Chris, it's six right now. And he will go bolting. Swift Spear is out of here. Young Pyromancer has built up a board. And now it's just an attack for one. Things have shifted back coolest way and Lowry needs to draw a card like a treasure cruise now it looks like he's running and running lands I think you probably have to play one of them he'll play the flooded strand yeah I mean he really wants electricery here that, that's the big catch up trickery or cruise are the two big ones Let's see what he draws brainstorm's not bad either I think he I don't know if he can wait any longer so I think he has to cast this now if he's got one blind card in his hand I think it's good enough to cast here well that was a pretty good one uh yeah that Looks really good. <laughs> yeah. A Ponder, a Young Power Mantra, I believe a Treasure Cruise was the third card. I would take a look at some things, too. The tough part here for him, he's got to put two cards back. Well, he, if he keeps the Treasure Cruise and the Young Power Mantra, he still gets to draw the Ponder. That's yeah. not lost. There is Young Power Mantra. Here is Treasure Cruise. And all Chris can do right now is nod his head. Brainstorm's a heck of a card. Three cards coming. There's land for the turn. Here's Ponder for the turn. Trigger, another elemental token. Take a look at three of them. Force of Will, Delver, and a land. Now, Anthony has drawn days, which means that this Force of Will is a little bit more attractive to keep than it otherwise would be. I do agree there. However, if I am Lowry in this situation, looking at those cards, just shuffle this. I would shuffle, personally. I think I can do better than those cards. Now, of course, the argument can be made. You take the Force of Will to go along with the days, and you crack the fetch land, and then your next draw is a mystery. But the only thing that really matters to Force of Will, in my mind, is, is Treasure Cruise. Everything else is kind of whatever. Cruise, Del Electric Delver, Electric on the other side. Yeah, there's a couple cards, I suppose. Yeah. I don't think there's a lot of them. I think there might be six or seven. He's going to take Force of Will. I think the decision is very close as well. Yeah. I think taking Force of Will and shuffling uh, ultimately is the thing to do. Chris looking into his graveyard. Yeah, going to catch a treasure cruise and can't counter that fast enough. And that'll give Lowry a token as well, as long as he remembers. You don't want to forget here. Yeah, this is a big one, I mean, because Anthony's pretty low. So there that is. And now that force of will will be in the graveyard on Lowry's side. Now 
and Delver's secret's going to come in. So I suppose taking Delver and then shuffling is reasonable here. Lightning bolt to draw here for Chris. These guys are going back and forth. Jeez. Now what do you lightning bolt? Because you're lightning bolting something, and Chris isn't sure. And I feel the same way, too. Well, you can lightning bolt the Delver, and then the question is, do you attack with your young Pyromancer? He's going to go after young Pyromancer. And now he's going to attack with both these creatures. I mean, this, this does give Anthony... He can just say, take this, untap, draw a bolt. Yeah, this is a, this, I mean, this is a really close call. And he can break the fetch land here. Anthony goes to three. Okay, so he's not dead. And if he has bolt as the top card or flips to a cantrip and then draws bolt, that's Xaxes. Yeah. A lot of good ones he can draw here. And Chris doesn't necessarily have him dead anyway next turn. Yep. So I think going after the... Going after the young Pyromancer that seems a little risky, but we shall see. No flip. The question is, what did he draw? Well, if it wasn't a spell, if we know magic, if it wasn't a spell, it was a creature or a land. So if he doesn't cast it, it's a land. All right, there's it was the a creature. creature. <laughs> Providing excellent color commentary in the booth. Listen, as usual. <laughs> I've been around the game for a long time. You sure have. <laughs> There's the monastery swift spear, and swift spear is a, a very good draw here for Chris, as it it does allow him to make an attack that forces the Delver to block, and that's that is this attack. Yeah. Now Anthony gets a very good block here, which he can put his swift spear in front of a token, and the Delver in front of a young pyromancer. Then he falls to one, and he's got a lot of draws. Mm -hmm. He can also put his Swiss Spear in front of Chris's Swiss Spear and then block Delver in front of Young Pyromancer. I'm not sure how much that accomplishes, but I think this is this is probably better. I like this block because it's the highest upside block for Anthony. If he draws very well next turn, he may be even able to kill Chris. And if he draws a removal spell for the Swiss Spear, then it's a staring contest. hi -ya. It's just a land. Yeah. That's going to do it. Chris Pakula going to win this match here over Anthony Lowry. Two games to one. The blue-red Delver mirror goes to the elder statesman there in Pakula. Yeah, and 